High school juniors and seniors in Georgia may soon be required to take a financial literacy course to graduate. The House bill amended and passed by the Senate just this week. Savannah Levins is joining us in the newsroom with the story. Savannah, it is that time of year when thousands of Georgia seniors are preparing to head off to college. So a really important and timely topic. Yeah, it is. And that bill seems to have pretty solid bipartisan support too. Advocates say it's important that young people learn about personal finance in school, especially before they take on these students loans. They make it so easy to take the loans out. Grace Carlock remembers when she signed on the dotted line as a new college student. It was like this kind of perfunctory five minute. Oh, you're not going to default, right? OK, just sign here and then there's the money. But she wishes she knew then. I still owe like $10,000 more than the amount that I actually borrowed for the tuition in the first place. What she knows now. It's hard to have a grasp of how compounding interest really works. And then also just when you're that age, you have very little experience with like real money. Paying that every month and then seeing the balance actually increase was really demoralizing. <laughs> with federal loans temporarily frozen right now because of the pandemic, she's been able to make interest free payments and finally make a dent in the $55,000 balance she still owes. This is just not sustainable. You know, something's got to give. While the president and federal lawmakers argue over loan forgiveness proposals, the state legislature passed a bill requiring high schoolers to take a personal finance class to graduate. I think it's incredibly important that we uh, better prepare young adults as they're thinking about their choices that they're making about college, career, how to save, how to budget. Ray Martinez founded EverFi, a financial literacy education company that offers its software to schools for free. A lot of us have learned by making mistakes and we don't need to do that anymore. And the more we can talk about it openly, I think the better off we are as a society. But for those already strapped into debt, it may feel like too little too late. You can educate people about it, but you have to give them another option. Something like capping the interest at some reasonable amount. Uh, frankly, we just need relief. If the House greenlights the Senate's amendments and Governor Kemp signs this bill into law, that course requirement would start in 2024. Meanwhile, the White House has extended the student loan freeze through August 31st.